person I care about is you, Patrick. It's always been you. Hey, Hi. come on in. Thanks. Emma, Elizabeth is here. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, please, my pleasure. She is so excited to see Sabrina graduate. She can't stop talking about it. Well, I'm just happy to have a date. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, excuse Aww. me, little miss. What are you still doing in your pajamas? You're not in your suit. I know I'm not in my suit, but I'm not going to the commencement today. Why not? I with the amount of time he logs in with yours truly at the gym, either he is deep in the closet or is extremely comfortable around gay guys. Either way, you never know. Milo could reconsider. I mean, so could Patrick Drake, surgeon extraordinaire. You're reaching, Felix. What's wrong with that? Didn't anyone ever tell you to reach for the stars? Things could change. They changed for Elizabeth, didn't they? Because I have work to do. There is a man that needs my help, and it's a new procedure that I've never done before. So actually, something really cool happened. There was a doctor in Boston that did it, and he taped it and sent me a DVD, so I have to watch the DVD. Why can't you watch it later? Because it's a very difficult procedure, and I might have to watch it a few times, so I have to start right away. But Sabrina's our friend. She wants us to be at her graduation. I know she does, baby, and that's why you're going to be there to represent both of us, OK? But not if you're going to be dressed like this. So go put on that beautiful dress you picked out and hurry up, OK? <laughs> okay. Come on. What? Really? Studying. I have to study, yes. Come on, admit it. Admit what? The reason you're not going to the graduation is because you're avoiding Sabrina. Why would I be avoiding Sabrina? <sighs> um, after agonizing for months, she finally tells you how she feels, and now you're blowing her off? I'm not blowing her off. Yes, you are, because you're scared. Scared of what? Facing her. So is this common knowledge now? Everybody at the hospital talking about how Sabrina has a crush on me? Everyone who has eyes. Okay, Elizabeth, this is crazy, all right? Just, you're just, you're wrong about this one. Am I? Yes, I'm not avoiding her, all right? I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just, look, she told me that she had a crush on Steve. Now, why, why wouldn't I believe that? Okay, all right, that's a valid point. Thank you. Are you sorry you know? No, I'm not sorry, I know, but I'm not gonna lie to you, all right? It's a little more complicated now. Well, as long as we're being honest, you should know I'm the one who convinced her to tell you how she feels. Otherwise, she would have never said anything. Now, why would you tell her to do that? One, for her own sanity. It's not good to keep things like that built up inside. And two, I thought you should know, just in case. Just in case what? Just in case it stirred something inside you, which clearly it didn't, and you made that, I don't know. I heard her, didn't I? What do you think? It's the last thing I wanted to do, honestly. But in my defense, OK, I didn't tell her that I didn't like her. I just said that I wasn't, I didn't think of her that way. That's a total lie. <laughs> what? New Year's Eve ring any bells? The two of you almost kissed? How do you know about New Year's Eve? Sabrina told me that there was a moment she thought you guys were going to kiss. So it was mutual? Well, she didn't attack me, if that's what you're suggesting. Not me, Britt. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, Britt told Sabrina that you said she had tried to kiss you, and then it made you very uncomfortable. Are you serious? Elizabeth, that's, that's not at all what happened. If anybody's responsible for, for... It was you? Patrick, it's okay if you wanted to kiss her. And it's okay if you didn't. I, I just want you to be honest with your feelings. It doesn't matter what I feel or what I felt. or uh, You know, it's all irrelevant right now. Why would you say that? Because everything that I went through with Brit, it's pretty obvious to me that I'm not ready to have a relationship, okay? Not with anyone. You do. I miss Robin, too. She would have wanted this Don't do that. Yeah. I would give anything give you back your wife and to give Emma okay. back her mom. All right, mom but she's not coming back, back, is she? No, she's not. <sighs> Patrick, the <clears throat> thing that scared Robin the most wasn't dying. 
It was leaving you and Emma alone. Did she tell you that she left me a video so I would find it on Christmas Day? No, what'd she say? Basically what you're saying right now. That I need to move on, not just for me, but for Emma. She, uh, she talked about how she did a little vetting for me. <laughs> I'm not saying Sabrina is the woman for you, but what if? I think she would have liked Sabrina. She would like Sabrina. Yeah, she would. Those beautiful wings. Where did you get those? Sabrina and I made them. He said they remind me. If I follow my dreams, then one day you fly as high as the sky. Aww. Oh, that is very cool. And very fitting, because Sabrina has worked hard and followed her dreams, and now her nursing career is about to take flight. Yay! Yay. <laughs> you don't want to go with us? I have to work. Okay. Well, okay. good luck with that new surgery. All right, you give me a kiss. Mm. You have fun, okay? Don't forget your jacket. It's right there. Okay, so should we take my car to the hospital, or should we fly? Bye, Daddy. Bye, beautiful. Have fun. I will. My guess is he's gonna walk through that elevator any second. Tell you that he was a fool and that he loves you back. Sabrina! Oh, Emma. Oh, I'm so glad you came. And dressed like a true fashionista. I approve. 